Welcome to ECN Trade Daily Video. Before we begin, it should be noted that any advice is of a general nature only and that your personal circumstances have not been taken into consideration. Hello everyone, my name is Rob Clayton and thank you for joining me. The Australian dollar stays another strong up test on Friday, but from the challenge, we can see a clear rejection. And from that now indicates a possible further slide to the start of this week. With the RSI holding underneath the midway point and declining, MACD does suggest that we could be now viewing a price movement towards 73.35. A challenge beneath there would reinstate the downside to 72.80 or even lower to around 72.30. Nevertheless, the market would like to see a little bit more price action to the downside, most probably to support the downward case and a break of, as, as I said, 73.35 would initiate that downward move. Top side rejection does view resistance around 74.25 in the short term and minor at 73.75. The euro is also displaying a week of price action after a stage in a brief upside test dropped back towards that 118 handle. Meanwhile, the US dollar, which measures the greenback strength against a basket of six major currencies, staged an impressive rebound back to 92.66 as I speak. And therefore, if we see a close above 92.85, would initiate a further slide towards the bottom side of the range around 117.60, or even down to a potential target that I'm still viewing to 116.75. But as I mentioned, I would like to see that dollar index a little bit high and a close above 92.85. And then we should see a further slide and therefore seeing the MACD marrying up to the other side's negative signal. All eyes look to tomorrow to the US Consumer Price Index to get a bit of an indication on how the central bank may be viewing its tapering back its 120 billion in bonds and other assets. Dot the end. Since the rejection of that 110, 20, 45 area, where I've outlined in yellow, is now staging a small re rebound, but not quite supporting the bullish case. Nevertheless, let's keep an eye on this pattern, because towards that top side again, could represent another opportunity to for a short position, as no doubt the supply area is likely to continue until we see the down challenge of 109.55, or even down to where I've highlighted around one. 0870. Let me just put that in there, which is around this region here, as you can see here, which was the recent rejection back in late July. Sterling also posts a doji after rejecting the level of 138.80. Although the market has not quite broken down as of yet, but there is indecision, indecisiveness, should I say, in the challenge to the upside and from this doji let's see how the market plays into the start of this week locked in a 137.80 to a 138.80 range until we get a break of that bottom side we should not rule out one more attempt to the upside because the indicators are still quite positive nevertheless this indecisiveness could see the challenge to the downside and the close under 137.80 would expose the region of 137.30 with the whipsaw price action between the two legs of sterling yen, we can see the markets rejected that level around 152.30.40. But not backing away, we can still see the technicals are still somewhat positive. Let's see if we see another rejection from there, as this would cement the downside case to 151.20.30 and reassess from there. Gold is attempting to recover, but also the rejection from Friday has given some indication that we could be seeing a potential slide to the downside, but needs to view um, a break that is of 1,770. In the meantime, that could offer a base. With the top side failing at 1,832 just recently, the market is somewhat negative. I'm finishing off with oil. As you can see, the market stays another rebound off that 6740 area. And from that, we can see the market is looking back to that top side range. If we do see a break above $70.20, that could initiate a squeeze up to $72 a barrel and reassess from there. Well, that wraps it for today. Thank you very much for joining me. As always, look out for the intro report. I hope you enjoy the great start to the new week.